Hi, I'm Simi Munhait, the author of The Goldie Standard, a novel. Hi, I'm going to read a little bit from The Goldie Standard. Uh, this is in the beginning of the book. Goldie has been um, forced into an assisted living a few weeks earlier, and she's having a little bit of trouble adjusting, but then something interesting happens. That funny little man, Harry, he catches my hand and gives it back to me. We're still here, Goldie. He looks deep at my face. I got you. Smooth operator. You are in sales, Harry? I was an accountant, back and forth on the train every day for 45 years. Then I got this watch. He waves his wrist where I see a gold watch. Then my kids gave me the cufflinks to match. The cufflinks I already noticed. Very fancy, with jewels. Not my taste. But in my dreams, Goldie, in my dreams. And before I know what he's doing, he pulls himself up, then stands with one hand on his walker, in the middle of everything in the courtyard. He starts like he's Nat King Cole, crooning how I'm unforgettable. What's to forget? He doesn't know me from Adam. Where is the staff when you need them? Finally, he finishes the whole song and bends and kisses my hand. Chutzpah. I gave him permission, but he can carry a tune. I'll give him that. Very nice, very nice, I say, putting away my hand. This lunatic, he gets a look in his eyes. Goldie, he says, and bows. Dance with me. Gans, Miss Shiga, a complete nut job. Harry, with our walkers, will dance. Goldie, you can dance. Come, come. There's no music. I'll make music. And he starts to sing again. And like the song says, incredible. He's holding my hand, pulling me up. And I have my other hand on the walker. And he takes his walker too. Slowly, slowly, we let go of the walkers. And he holds my hand and I hold his. And I admit I'm not so comfortable. And he says to me, relax, breathe, just breathe. And then he hums, unforgettable. And my feet. If I stand with them just a little bit apart and I hold both his hands, I can move forward and back. Then maybe a little bit I make circles with my hips and my waist like they make me do in physical therapy. And Harry, he's doing the same thing. I don't know if we're dancing or holding each other up, but he's singing so nicely he sings. And I'm looking into his eyes and then I laugh again and again. I laugh and throw back my head and give even a bit of shuckle with my breasts and shoulders. Maybe a little bit my tuchus too. And suddenly there's clapping. You go girl, someone saying. Now the staff comes. A bunch of them watching us. For how long? And behind them, their mouths already going. Bernice and her gang. Finally, something to see around here. Harry, enough. I reach behind me for the chair, but no, no, not this, not now. My foot starts to slide. Dark spots float in my eyes. I can't stop this once it starts. If I can reach the walker, maybe, but the spot's getting darker. The walker too far. It's too far. Everyone around me, what am I doing on the floor? How would I get down here? Dancing. I was dancing.